10 years ago. Yes. What has their childhood been like? Is it possible or has it been possible for them to have a normal childhood given all they've been through? Well, it's as normal as I've ever known a kid to have, you know. Uh, uh, um, they go to school, they have tons of friends. Uh, my house seems to be the meeting place uh, for their group of friends. Um, uh, the both kids are happy kids. Uh, they, uh, they're once again very active, as, as we said, in school activities. And and um, I, Friday night, Saturday night, uh, I tend to have to leave <laughs> because there's so many kids at the house. I find myself in my bedroom or I have to go out, right, uh, so that I'm not in the way, I guess. So I would say, you know, there's times like this last month, for instance, um, you know, uh, because of this 10th year, you have the paparazzi and the media coming around the house. Um, I, the other day, I was in the intersection. I saw my daughter just whiz by uh, doing a yellow light, and uh, what I thought was a friend whiz by through a red light. So I called her immediately and said, what are you guys doing? And she said she was being pursued by some guy with cameras, and, you know, I reminded her of uh, Princess Diane and said, Sweetheart, don't worry about it. If you see a police officer, pull over. Tell him this guy is stalking you, but don't try to get away from these guys. Don't try to rush and get away from them, you know. But outside of that, everything has been pretty cool. Everywhere we go, people are terrific, and we really haven't had in the last five or six years any real significant incident outside the home. You know? When children lose a parent, I think memories often fade. Mm -hmm. How do you keep Nicole's memory alive for your children? Well, Nicole will come up in conversations where it's in a part of the conversation or we may be somewhere and I would I'll tell some story about the, her mother and I, you know, we always honor her birthday. Uh, and it's uh, generally, you know, kids don't look back. Like you say, memories may fade. Kids tend to look forward. And my kids, um, um, you know, you don't know psychologically what might surface years from now but at this point they both seem to have handled it pretty well they do have friends who are without a parent who have uh, from one parent households by death so it's not as if they feel as if they're you know uh, isolated and so different than than all their other friends what do they believe happened to their mother something we've never really spoke about never never in 10 years the ten subject years. of their mother's death not or murder has never come up ever? Never, ever. And uh, as I said, I think I've certainly spent enough money to get the advice of some of the best child, child psychologists and psychologists um, and psychiatrists in the country. And they all say when the kids are ready to talk about it, they'll talk about it. That's far they have it. Justin was quoted in the Miami Herald in October of 2002 saying, from time to time, I think about it, but I just have to get, get it through my system when it comes into my mind, then I just move on. So those times that he thinks about it, he never talks about it with you? No, Justin, he's a, he's a remarkable kid in that even when he's got other things on his mind, he has a tendency to, to turn it inward. And he'll go to his room and what's going on, did something happen in school today or maybe split up with his girlfriend or something. He's always pretty reluctant to get into it. He says, oh, just, Dad, I'll be all right. Just leave me alone. I'll be all right. Um, and Have you ever said, do you want kid. to talk about your mother? Uh, not in those words, you know, I'll sit down and say, is there something you want to talk about? Whatever the situation might be, you know, and I don't always know what the situation is because once again, it could be girlfriends or it could be the coach at school, you know, who knows? But uh, they tend to, you know, my, you know, everybody said they worry about my kids, but I would say this to America, you better hope your kids end up like my kids, at least at this point. I had two terrific kids. They seem well adjusted, they're smart as all get out, and they've got tons of friends. You know, so most people need to worry about their own kids. And, you know, um, I've gotten this far. My daughter graduated without any, to my knowledge, tattoos or unusual piercings. And she got into a fine university. So thus far, I feel I'm way ahead of the game. <laughs> to this day, many people remain convinced that you killed Nicole and her friend Ron Goldman. Do you worry that Sydney and Justin will someday come to the same conclusion? No. Why not? No. It would be a waste of time. I die. Well, the, you know, Judy and I, it's were the most important and that we needed to put our differences aside, at least when it came to the kids. Well, there's no other reason for us to have to socialize. But oh, when I was, to, <laughs> it didn't affect me or my life 
any iota, not one iota. She certainly has had nothing to do with my main uh, job. I'm an executive parent is what I call myself. And she certainly has had no effect one way or in California. She must see him. I, I know she sees my son. When Does he's they out spend there. the summer with the Browns? Sydney will spend very little time there. She'll go there, say hello and stuff, and she wants to be with her friends in Los Angeles. My son, the daughter, I mean the sons of Denise and Dominique are relatively his age. A week from tomorrow will be the 10 year anniversary mm -hmm. of Nicole's murder. How do you plan to mark that day with your children? I don't have, I'm, hopefully we can be out of the country. 